Hi guys, I hope you all had a nice lunch. I'm going to do a quick math lesson with you using boom cards. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about money today. So I am going to open up this one. Next dollar up, how many dollars do I need? Okay. And then I will read. So like we do in our unique lesson where we talk about what is the next dollar, um, if you were buying, say, a can of tuna for $2.10 and you only have dollar bills, what, do, how many dollars would you need to have enough? One, two, three, four, or five, okay? What is the next dollar up? Okay, so what is it? Is it $1? Oops. No, not enough. Oops. $2, not enough. Three dollars. You need to go one more dollar up. What is the next dollar up? Oh, that looks very good, this cake. Okay, how much is the cake? Four ninety-nine. Four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Remember, we only have dollars. Is a dollar enough? Two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. No, that's almost five dollars. You, you would still owe almost a dollar. So five dollars. What is the next dollar up? Okay, so what is the next dollar up? A can of beans, which is a dollar seven and seventy-eight cents. So one dollar and seventy-eight cents. How many dollars do you need to pay? If you had only dollar bills, would you give them one dollar? You would still owe them something, huh? Seventy-eight cents. So two dollars maybe? Let's see. Two dollars. Okay, this one's a tricky one. What is the next dollar up? Okay, the carrots. You're buying carrots. How much are the carrots? They're 98 cents. So, hmm, do you need it? Okay, so you only have five. I mean, you only have five dollar bills. Do you give them five? Oops. No. Do you give them two dollars? No. One dollar is all you need. What is the next dollar up? Okay, so you're buying what looks like a shrimp, I think, for how much? $4.25. So how many dollars do you need to give if you only have dollar bills? Let's count. Do you give one? Oops. No. Oops. Two. Oops. Three. No. Oops. Four. That's still not enough. You still owe 25 cents. Five dollars. Oh, okay. What is the next dollar up? Okay, the next dollar up from this jar of what looks like pickled vegetables, carrots, cauliflower, and I'm not sure what else. How much is the jar? It's four dollars and ninety cents. That's a little bit expensive. Four dollars and ninety cents. Is four dollars enough? Oops. No, you still owe another dollar, so you need to go up one dollar. To five. Okay. Lemonade. How much is the lemonade? Four dollars and one cent. So that's a little over four dollars. So three dollars is not enough. Four dollars is not enough. Five dollars. Okay. Let's see. A few more and then and then you can practice them. What is the next dollar up? What is the next dollar up? And I'm not sure what this is, if it's Pepto-Bismol or a bottle of strawberry milk. For $1.52, let's see. So that's a, a, over $1. So you would go, whoops, $1 not enough. You would go over the next to the next dollar, which is $2. Okay. What is the next dollar up? What's the next dollar up for these hot dogs that cost $4.09? Okay, so that's over $4. You have four. Oh, you need to get one more dollar out of your wallet. $5. What is the next dollar up? Okay, what's the next dollar up? You're buying broccoli. Broccoli is $1.63. How many dollars do you need to give? 
three dollars? Two dollars. Three dollars would be too much. And one more. What is the next dollar up? Okay, so this is a cucumber. How much is the cucumber? It's 22 cents each. So, hmm, two dollars, is that enough? Whoops. It is too much. You would get back a dollar and change. You only need to give one dollar. Okay, and I'm gonna stop right there. So I, and I will put the link into the assignment so you can practice also when you want, okay?